it didn't start really happening for me until I started joining bands, you know, and that's when, uh, and I was in a lot of bands, blues bands and all kinds of bands, so this is a player. So it only got serious when I started singing with the Walker Brothers. Um, in fact, I wasn't a lead vocal with them. John was a lead vocalist, but there was this ballad they wanted to, to do called Love Her. And so they switched it around because they had to, to go with the guy with the lowest voice. And so it was kind of accidental. Well, it's very stark, you know, it, yeah. it, it, as I, as I go on, things get starker and, uh, uh, we, what Pete and I do is really keep refining that sound. You know, we've reached a point now right. where, where we are, you know, pretty well set in, in the noise that, we, that is our own and people identify right. with. And we just keep, rather like Becca did, just keep honing, honing things and honing things down. There's not, we, for instance, in arrangements, there is no real arrangement in, in point. There are big blocks of sound. Right. And that started to happen in tilt with the right. big organ that we right. used. There are Big blocks of noise and uh, no attempt at any glamorizing arrangements or right. like that. And you can have a mic stand, yeah, inside. Yep. between punches you know it's you know I see it's not not it's too fast but you know it's going to be more varied and okay. like that okay okay Everything in the in everything in my world because I have a very nightmarish imagination. I mean, I'm very I have very bad dreams all my life and things. So everything in my world is big. Immunity. And that's why the words are important because you have to you have to feel the phenomenon, you know, of the words coming out of, of silence almost. Nozzled cakes and black You shouldn't take 
the songs too literally. The songs, uh, often I'll take a political idea or an idea that we all know, and that's a springboard to another place, to another sort of world. Well, because I don't like out-and-out -out protest songs anyway. I mean, there were a lot of albums and things that came out after 9-11, you know? I mean, I, I don't like some guy strumming and preaching in my face. There's other ways to talk about these things. That's the same with the Mussolini thing, because fascism is in the air. Uh, but like I said, in the end, it's, it's, a, it's a personal message of some kind from somewhere, you know, an, an existential personal message. Recently, was in Paris doing some interviews, and uh, the interviewers there, at least three of them, said to me, "You know, it, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, they aren't songs anymore. We don't know what they are, but they aren't songs." And I said, "Well, I, I always think of those songs." And they just said, "You're out there on your own now," and I felt, oh, "God, sort of, you know, oh no, not again." He he really should be, as far as I'm concerned, should be recognised as as one of our not only great composers, but great poets as well. The, his lyrics are absolutely peerless, I think. Um, and it's very surprising to me that he's still regarded as a kind of slightly marginal figure. All right, he isn't very prolific, but the quality of the work he's done is so extraordinary, I think.